Yo, now do you want to find legendaries early on in Diablo 4? Oh, you don't. Oh, n never mind. Psych! Of course you do. These legendary items can really help you out, especially early on here. Getting your first few legendaries can crazy help out your survivability, really help out your damage, and just overall really help out your clear speed and your playthrough. But you can't always count on yourself getting lucky with one of these dropping off of a random monster or elite. But if you did not know, there's actually certain things, certain activities where you can guarantee yourself to at least get a few legendary items early on. That's what I'm bringing you right here today. Now, the first way I'm gonna mention here on how you can get yourself some legendary items, and this is probably gonna be not a whole lot of a shocker to anybody, but that is when you see one of these world bosses spawn, you better get your demon slaying ass out there and take her out. I don't know if this is literally a 100% fact. Every single person will always get a legendary 100% of the time, but I'll tell you from my personal experience, every time that I took out a world boss on any of the betas, I did get a legendary literally 100% of the time. And some of the other times I even got two or three, and I'm not talking about the first beta where they were raining from the sky, but when you had the actual drop odds in the other betas. On top of the initial drop, you'll also get this special cache, which you can go ahead and pop open with more opportunities to get even more legendaries. Now, every time I did kill one of these world bosses with the normal drops, I got one to three legendaries. So, but if you get up to like an appropriate level, head out there and help out the crowd, take out the world boss and get yourself some legendaries and absolutely set your character off. Next up, as soon as you get out there slaying some demons, you can go ahead and check for which dungeons have which legendary aspects. Now, once you get these legendary aspects from killing the dungeon boss and clearing everything out, you can go ahead and head over to the occultist, and then you can imprint this legendary aspect onto a rare item. Now, I know technically you're not finding a legendary here, but you are finding the aspect and making yourself a legendary. So it's essentially the same thing, right? One thing I will note early on, it's kind of a consensus in the community. Don't go ahead and imprint one of these aspects onto one of your main weapons that you're using for damage. Generally playing through the game, you're more likely to want to upgrade the weapon that you're dealing damage with rather than something like some pants or a ring. You can much more easily justify wearing a ring for longer and longer and longer than dealing literally half as much damage. So not an exact hard rule, but a general rule is don't imprint these aspects on your weapons. And the third way here, I'm gonna mention how to guarantee yourself to get a legendary that's definitely gonna help you out as you continue to level and progress through the game is simply doing the main story quest. When you wrap up act one and you take out the final boss there, you get a guaranteed legendary amulet drop each and every time. Now this amulet grants you an absolutely life-saving sometimes barrier that is really gonna help you out anytime you kind of get in trouble. Now I don't know if it was every time, but also I will mention this actual act boss probably has incredibly high odds for dropping legendaries as well. I feel like I got one pretty much every single time off that boss as well. Now that's just a couple tips on how to get your first legendaries in the game to really get you cruising along. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe up for future Diablo 4 content. Peace out, fellas, and don't forget to keep slaying.